Oh, all right, guy. Welcome. Right. Here we are, another event, and uh, we're super excited about exploring one QR today in print and how to utilize this in every <clears throat> form of print. If ink hits anything, it's a form of print. So what we will be going through today is a little demo, um, how to get activated into one QR, how to utilize this within print marketing. What does that really mean? Um, just like I, I, I had mentioned, we're going to be talking about magazine print, uh, ad agencies, swag, vehicle decals, different types of things that you'll be able to start getting some ideas on how print is has been very powerful for so, so long. And there is now a way to make it interactive. And you can take the customers, take the scanners, above and beyond what is just in print. Yeah, abs absolutely, Guy. And uh, look, if you're joining us for the first time today, I want to welcome you to the LFI community. Um, my name is E.R. Wolf. I'm one of the co-founders here. You just heard from uh, my business partner and co-founder, Guy Tool. And uh, we're going to be taking you through a series of different use cases. As Guy mentioned, this one's going to be uh, specifically focused in one QR use in print. Um, you may just be hearing about LFI. And so uh, quickly at a high level glance, I just wanna uh, share that LFI is a technology development company focused on helping the success of small business users. And Guy, I cannot believe it. Uh, you know, We've been doing this for well over a decade, uh, going on 16 years now, building solutions that support the success of uh, the, the small business owner, the entrepreneur, that person that's wearing multiple hats in their business. And uh, uh, as we know, QR usage and QR codes, quick response codes in general, uh, provide a digital opportunity to help us connect uh, with our audience and share and engage uh, and, and have additional information. And we're excited to make uh, one QR available uh, to to everybody. So I know we're going to be talking about uh, specific use in print. And Guy, I think you said it uh, so well. If ink hits something, if ink is put being put down or laid down on something, it is print. Um, and there's some nuances we're going to talk about specific uh, to uh, what you want to consider if you're going to be using your QR codes and uh, uh, doing any type of print and why you should be doing that with one QR. Uh, but before we get into that, we want to do a quick demo here of just how easy it is to get started with one QR. And uh, if you are not aware yet, you get one QR absolutely free. And we're going to show you how to build your first code right now. So guy, I'm going to share my screen and uh, we're going to go through uh, a quick, quick demo. So if you're following along with me or you're watching this in replay, you can go to oneqr.com. That's oneqr.com. And it will take you to this page. And uh, very clearly, you can claim your free one QR code just by clicking uh, right here. And so we're going to click on here. And it'll take you to a quick sign up uh, enrollment flow that makes it super easy for you to generate your first one QR. You'll put in a destination link. Let's go ahead and go to oneqr.com. That's where I'm going to point this QR code that we're creating uh, right now. And then uh, we'll click continue. Uh, we can give our code uh, a color. And this is one of the beautiful things about one QR is it's not just giving you the capability to create uh, an, an evergreen code that you can place everywhere. And it, it's sort of one QR that is dynamic that you can update over and over again, but you can actually match it uh, to the look and the feel of your brand and follow your brand guidings, uh, guidelines. I think, uh, Guy, this will be important as we go through uh, our print discussion because you want it to match the look and the feel of what you're having printed as well. So we'll select blue as a color here. Uh, lots of different shapes to choose from. Again, personalization, we now live in this age where uh, a code does not have to be a, a black and white checkerboard. Um, you can have things like lines or triangles or circles. Uh, we'll go on ahead and go with stars here. And uh, and then uh, we're just going to create a quick account. Um, I'll do ER at LFI. And we'll just put in a quick email address, select a password. And then um, you're just going to hit finish here and you're done. 
we've created our first QR code with one QR, everybody. Congratulations. Uh, once you've got your code up, it's going to take you straight into your one QR system. So uh, this is going to be your place to build, to track, and to modify, to edit, to manage your QR codes. Very simple. If you want to download the code you just created, you can click on the thumbnail icon or the download button, and it will bring up the code. And it also is accompanied by a, a short link here. So you can use this short link in combination with your code or even independent of your code uh, to, uh, to gain a, additional access or use cases as well. And we'll cover those in the future. Uh, very simple to download your PNG file. Uh, that's a transparent art file that you can use for any type of uh, of usage of your QR uh, on on one QR. You're going to want to make sure uh, that you're downloading this for your use in print. So that'll download straight to your computer downloads um, as well. Now, modifying your codes again, just as easy as building your codes. Uh, as you can see, we've got our thumbnail. We've got the name of our first code here. We've got that short code. Uh, that I pointed out. Uh, it'll monitor our total scans. And then we have the destination that our code is pointing to. And because these are dynamic and evergreen, uh, we can update this destination at any point in the future. And that's going to become uh, very apparent and very important uh, on why you want to have that capability and why that should be a one of the deciding factors on what platform you use for uh, generating your QR codes um, and why you should consider one QR. Uh, also, our edit, download, analytics, and some quick share options. Um, now, let's go on ahead and edit our code. Uh, we're linking this to one QR, so we'll just put it in as our one QR link. Uh, again, our destination is right here. And uh, something else that a lot of people love is the ability to not just brand with color, but to put in some icons or calls to action within your code specifically. And you can upload any image from your computer. So if you have a, a logo saved uh, or artwork saved that you want to put in there, you can go on ahead and do that. And so I'll go on ahead and put in a quick logo here. And you can see how it just pops our logo right into our one QR. Now that I hit save, that's editing your QR codes. They are evergreen and you can come back to that edit over and over and over again. And the moment you edit that code, you're gonna start to see that that edit and update and download is all available in real time uh, so that you are able to quickly and easily create, manage, um, and track your QR codes. And uh, for those of you who maybe uh, were scanning this while I had it up while we were building and having some fun, uh, you may have noticed in the background here that the view count has uh, started increasing. So you'll see analytics that come along with your codes and it will track all of the scans that you have coming through your code. So uh, we'll talk about this in print as well. Whatever gets uh, measured gets managed and uh, it'll become important and apparent to you on why measurability is so important. Need more codes? Really simple. Just go up and click uh, add a QR. Uh, we do have two upgrade accounts. Your first one QR is completely free. And you can, again, rename the destination, repoint it, and repurpose it over and over again. But if you are measuring between different locations and things like that, I encourage you to create multiple QR codes. There are two subscriptions available on one QR. Our pro account allows you to create up to 50 codes for $10 per month. And our unlimited account is just what it sounds like, the ability to create an unlimited number of codes for $20 per month. So uh, that's a quick tutorial on how to build your first one QR. Uh, happy uh, QR creating, everybody. Thanks so much. So, Di, um, I think this is a great opportunity for us to really think about the, all these different places where QR codes can be applied and why it's important specifically when we're talking about the application of QR codes within print media um, uh, and, and, and going from just a, a static print media, let's say some, something that is printed, uh, and engages with our audience, but only in the instance where they're reading that print or where they're viewing that print to something that can increase that a, a engagement so much further, uh, just by leveraging, uh, a, a link that is a quick response that, you know, nobody has to type anything in, nobody has to, uh, uh, go through the thumb damage of keystroking in a, a website address or a phone number or, or things like that. Having that accessibility with your audience can, you know, 
further increase overall engagement. And I think uh, uh, I want to kick it off real quick with the converse of what most people might be thinking, which is uh, I'm trying to get online. And uh, really, if you're already online, but most of your marketing is happening online, don't lose sight of the fact that there's that use case of offline print that can further engage your audience and bring even more traffic and more visitors online. And you can see, you know, reports of upwards of 25% increase in overall web traffic. Uh, I think a lot of us who are in the e-commerce field are thinking, wow, if we could uh, have a 25% boost in our visitors, um, that that could really result in some dollars, um, let alone what, what's happening all offline. Absolutely. We're, we're talking there and there's there's more percentages and, and metrics through our data showing, you know, that actually that type of rise to your website traffic is increasing sales by upwards of 20 percent. So don't miss out on the fact that a lot of things, yes, they're print and they're offline, but driving them online, having a way for someone to have an interactive call to action. It's taking that print and really advancing it so we don't miss out on those types of opportunities. We've also been talking about QR codes and these, you know, these squares that have little shapes inside and understanding the difference between a static and a dynamic QR code. A lot of what people are familiar with are static QR codes that once you print it once, that can only be utilized in that campaign or that uh, destination. And a lot of times it's just for a short period of time, but being able to understand the difference between that static and dynamic, a dynamic makes it so I print it once and I can point that QR code to go to anything at any time in the future. So it's very important to understand the value of a dynamic QR code and to know that one QR only has dynamic QR codes. There, there are no static QR codes in our offer. Uh, there are no elements where, say, features that are coming where it is a static tied in with a dynamic. Other purveyors out there may be providing those, or they are. Everything here is is dynamic, and that's a huge value when utilizing QR codes. Yeah, Guy, I, I think uh, it's important to stay on this static versus dynamic discussion for just a minute uh, because of how important it is. Um, most people don't realize, as you mentioned, that maybe uh, if they're already implementing QR codes in their marketing, whether that be in print, uh, that they may be using currently static codes. And that could come back to bite you later on uh, from the standpoint of having to reprint uh, a bunch of material. And again, if it's anytime ink hits something and something should change and you cannot go back and update where your codes are pointing to, um, that means that your code is static. At 1QR, we do nothing that is static. Everything is evergreen. So everywhere that you're putting your code, you can always come back and update where that code points to. And I, and I think there are two massive advantages, Guy, uh, especially for anybody who's doing any type of print to have dynamic. Uh, the, the first thing is, is we already know, uh, I, I think I, I think the the answer is already there. Like you have to be using QR codes if you're doing anything in print always look for that opportunity of where you can use it in your print so that you can increase and further increase that engagement. QR is going to be the best call to action that you have. But dynamic means you're going to have both the time savings and a cost savings overall. You know, the, the, the first thing is the time savings. You don't want to go through having to reprint or rush to reprint stuff um, when you are in the mix of doing everything else that you need to be doing in your marketing efforts. It's so much easier to log into a quick, simple platform and you know pull up that one code, hit edit, just like we saw in the demo, and just adjust the destination link, hit save, and you're done. That's, that's the effort. Um, the, the other side of that coin is the cost savings. Uh, if you're a business owner, if you're anything like me, you want to be thinking about what is your return on investment 
Uh, what is your spend? What are your expenses? How are you managing that cash flow that's so important as a business owner? And the one thing you don't want to do is be wasteful with your expenses. You know what I mean? Uh, if you had to reprint a bunch of flyers for every single event, and maybe you're doing that right now, you're reprinting new flyers for every event that you're going to, imagine printing flyers one time and having those flyers last throughout the entirety of the print. I, I hear so many people, they're like, oh, we're reprinting and now we're throwing away all of this stuff. And that's a cost, but it's also uh, environmentally uh, uh, really having an impact on how much paper and all of these other things, especially in print that we go through uh, if we're having to reprint our brochures or our flyers or our catalogs. These are all places where if we use a dynamic code in print, uh, we're going to be so much better off. Those big posters, if you've ever worked an event and slid up those big posters, you pay a lot of money to put a poster together. You do not want to be the person at the event that's like, you didn't really want to spend to reprint that whole poster. So you're pasting on another QR code over the one that's no longer good anymore. No, you just use one QR and then you go in and you edit and you change where it points to. And you're going to use that same roll up every time you go to, to a new event. So super powerful from that dynamic versus static standpoint. <clears throat> from, from the demo, a lot of people might identify the fact of the branding and the customization. That's a huge thing from a, a static aspect when looking at print advertising or people that are in magazines and they have their businesses there's a way to distinguish themselves with their QR codes. And that's with their design, their brand, their look, their feel. It really matches what they're offering in their business. So that's a huge element to be taking into the QR code space to allow those types of individuals or businesses differentiate themselves from those static black and white QR codes that have been utilized for quite some time uh, the, the market opportunity here is huge from the aspect of implementing these. We get yeah. those mailers all the time with coupons. And there's a huge percentage of those coupons that do not have a QR code on them that make it a digital interaction for that type of company that is doing that type of inter advertisement. So, you know, when, when looking at it, even from the swag industry, right? Where maybe I have something printed on a shirt, a t-shirt. Those QR codes really advance the advertisement of that company to take someone who's scanning it above and beyond where they would like them to go. So just powerful elements within the aspect of utilizing dynamic QR codes. Well, and uh, going along that, when we're printing things out, when we're putting our ads together, if you're part of the creative team on your marketing uh, 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 team, if you are the entire marketing team, you want to be making sure that what you're printing out and the codes that you're using aren't just dynamic, they look and match your branding. Those, those things are going to make you stand out more than the traditional black and white code. Unless you're you know, running a grayscale ad or you're printing in a black and white newspaper, you should uh, uh, capitalize on the opportunity to create unique, unique custom branded one QRs that will help you stand out. Uh, Guy, you were just talking about print on uh, apparel uh, in the promotional product space. You know, uh, colors help so much in the way things pop out to generate your codes in certain colors, to put in your logos, your icons within those codes, uh, to have clear calls to action and wrappers around your codes to set the expectation of what the person who's visually seeing that code uh, is to expect when they scan it, whether it's sitting on a t-shirt or it's sitting in a newspaper advertisement, you really want to be thinking about how that is going to uh, make you stand out, match your look and feel, right? And engage better with, with your audience. I think that's a huge thing um, from, from the standpoint of, of QR code design and what you're going to find within your one QR codes for the shapes, 
the logos, the colors. And I know we're going to be bringing so much more to that design aspect of these codes over time. Uh, but that that makes me think of another aspect, Guy, that in print, I think is such a critical component because if you are printing things, that's a hard fixed cost. We talked about it a moment ago when we're measuring our ROI. Um, and, and I had, had mentioned this in the opener. Uh, there's an old saying of what gets measured gets managed. And you want to know what your marketing um, campaigns are producing for you, whether you're trying to generate leads and somebody's scanning a QR code and it's going directly into a lead. Maybe they're scanning it on a product packaging and they're getting information about how to use that product or details about that product, et cetera. Um, you know, whatever you're using your QR code to do when you print it out, you want to be having measurability, the analytics. And I think, you know, uh, in, in addition to it being dynamic, in addition to you having that capability to design it, uh, you want to be able to measure it. You want to have that view count of how many scans you're getting, you know, what time those scans are happening at. Um, if you're using multiple QR codes, and I think this is a really, uh, Guy, a huge case for why you're going to need more than just a single one QR code. Uh, it's because you're going to create multiple codes, and our suggestion to you would be create multiple QR codes in one QR, because if you have multiple prints happening. Maybe you're doing a print ad that's going to be in the newspaper. Maybe it's going to be in a money mailer. Maybe you're spending uh, to have it in a high-end magazine, right? All of these are outflows in our business. We want to see what we're getting back in return from it. If you just use one single QR in all of those ads, you would be able to measure how much scans you got, but you wouldn't be able to differentiate from the location of where that traffic is, the source of those visitors. Uh, and if you're thinking about, hey, I'm gonna buy this ad again, I'm gonna spend over here again, and you're you're doing your marketing budget, you wanna put your capital in what's returning the most for you. And without that measurability, you know, um, I, I've heard from several people, guys, since we've launched one QR, they almost use them as, you know, little disposable items. And I, I want people to change that mindset because, a, a a QR code is not something that is disposable, that needs to be disposable. Um, in fact, if you just uh, were somebody who maybe is thinking about implementing QR codes or already using QR codes and you just are randomly going onto the web, searching for a platform to generate a quick code that you're, you know, have no expectation of using in the future, you might not be going back and looking at any of the analytics behind that code. But on one QR, you've got a platform that you can return back to over and over and over again, whether you create your one free one QR code or whether you have an unlimited number of codes in the uh, unlimited plan to come back and just measure. This one's getting lots of scans. This one isn't. Uh, oh, wow. Look at how many scans throughout the day or at certain times of the week. I'm getting uh, people to scan that code and give me leads or uh, visit my product page or you know learn about this, uh, how to take this product. Uh, I, I think that's so powerful uh, on, a, on a measurability standpoint. When, when looking at utilizing QR codes, there's the, the positive attributes of how they can advance our businesses in our marketing and getting the information out there. But then we can also look at the negative attributes of not utilizing them. You know, you're, you're missing out on creating an engaging and interactive experience for individuals if you're not utilizing QR codes, but by enhancing the interactivity and the different types of elements that improve the brand awareness is what encourages individuals to utilize QR codes to, to go down the path and learn more about a company, learn more about a brand. It brings more brand awareness. It brings a, a better look and feel to your business. So people are <clears throat> more aware of of your business compared to others who aren't utilizing them, right? Missing out on providing instant information to potential customers. That's, that's huge. If time kills deals in business. And if I'm left with just reading an article or, or looking at an advertisement, looking at someone's swag, 
It might not be memorable to me, but I can give them something that can be scanned that they can take away. And it's now utilized on their smartphone. One of the earlier statistics about the increase of smartphones, there's a reason why we've talked about it for a long time, why Apple and Android have invested billions of dollars in their operating system into their cameras to be able to scan a QR code. We have to download a QR scanner anymore to understand what's happening. So being able to implement QR codes to build that brand awareness, to build that brand loyalty is something that is extremely beneficial that we should all look at thinking about implementing QR codes into our businesses, into our marketing, into our branding, into our advertising. Well, Guy, one of the things that comes up often is this sense of evergreen everywhere. And um, I often talk about it in terms of the online world, right? Where if you are marketing online or if you're posting things online, the internet is forever in a way, right? The internet's forever, these things, but print is no different. Print's no different. Uh, I know when I was growing up, a uh, good example, my dad was really into cars and he would get his automotive magazines, but he wouldn't just throw them out at the end of the month. Uh, in fact, he used to have a giant stack right by his chair of all the, the, the past issues. And I used to just thumb through those issues over and over and over again, looking at all the automobiles. And uh, the, the, the key is things are going to last. They're going to last for a while. Um, if you're if you're an advertiser advertising in a high end trade magazine, uh, things like that, there's going to be somebody potentially scanning a, a, a code within an ad that you purchased in some cases, months or even years into the future. You don't want something to have changed in your marketing material, your product offering, those types of things and have used a static code that either when it gets scanned goes nowhere at all, uh, hopefully doesn't you know kick back a big error, nothing to, to tarnish brand credibility than scanning something and you're getting an error code. Uh, you want it to go to whatever is the latest stuff that you're working on. So you have an interface where you can come back because it is evergreen, because it is dynamic and update where those codes point to on a periodic basis so that it stays relevant. And, and when we think evergreen everywhere, I really want to impress upon anybody who's doing anything in print right now, use QR codes, right? It's going to extend the engagement like Guy was just talking about so that it's not just a snippet. They're not just consuming that one ad or that one article or that one post or that one, um, you know, flyer. They're given an opportunity to continue the engagement journey with you by scanning that one QR quick response code that you create. And then you having that capability to have measurability across all of your ads. You know, Guy, I remember they used to do it in print. These uh, these companies would, would purchase a bunch of different phone numbers just so that they could say, hey, this ad has this phone number and this ad has this phone number and this ad has this phone number because measurability was so important. Which ad is generating the most phone calls? We got to use a separate phone number just to track that. The same thing with QR. You want to generate multiple codes across all of your uses so that you have that measurability. Um, I know we've spent a lot of time, Guy, talking about use in print from the standpoint of an ad or a sale or, 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 or further engagement, whether it, that, that's that been in your brochures, uh, you know, the catalogs that you're providing out to clients, whether it's on your posters or the flyers that you have at your events. But that interactive media can go so much further. If you're an author, uh, if, if you are a publisher, if you're somebody who works in the print space, um, print as an industry, we've seen go through a lot of change over the last couple decades. Uh, and anybody who's been looking at the industry charts on that, it's pretty uh, clear that print and digital competing against each other, they have to compete. And in order to stay competitive, if you are somebody who's offering print services, layering on things like uh, one QR for your customers, 
could be making the difference of whether they select to use you to provide them their print services versus whether they go with another printer or heaven forbid, just stick to digital only. You know, um, if you are an author, you want your books to last forever. You've poured your blood, sweat, and tears into writing and, and composing what you're providing to your reader. And if they pick that book up, and I'm like looking back to my bookshelf over here that's blurred out in the background, but if they pick that book up in the future and thumb to the page about the author, and there's a QR code there right about you and how to connect with you and how to link to your social media and how to buy all your other books, when they scan that, you want to make sure it works, whether that's the day you, you, you publish and receive your first copy or whether it's in the you know fifth or twelfth uh, a printing of that book, uh, you want that to be evergreen as well. I mean, I can just go on and on, guy. I know we want to keep this short and we want to roll into some questions right now, but there are so many different use cases. You just need to think about everywhere where you are having ink hit something. Then there's an opportunity to use one QR. Absolutely. We're going to speed it up really quick here. We've got a couple questions. Uh, one of the first ones is based on uh, question based on are these recorded? Are these going to be available to reshare and have available? <clears throat> yes, they are. They're being recorded. They will be spliced up, edited, those different types of things within days and available in our YouTube channel. Um, all of us also know that within one QR, there's going to be a section where you can access these types of recordings. The other is referring and getting people to utilize one QR. There's a big movement. We're one of the only platforms that have a, a program that's tied to referring QR codes. That is something that is available for all of us. Anyone who would like to utilize a QR code, you're, you'll, you'll have a short little link to be able to provide to individuals to give them access to one QR. So as I said, we're going to be moving quick. Those are the couple questions that were picked out and sent over to go through. Um, you know, here's call to actions that's available for all of us. If we are new to looking at one QR by LFI, get your free code. It's very simple. ER walked you through the process on how to generate your account, utilize these QR codes, start playing with the application, the system, to be able to say, what are some use cases? Where can I be utilizing these? Because we've talked about a lot of areas that QR codes, dynamic QR codes are, are available. We've got upcoming events. We'll be probably slowing down a little bit here towards the end of the year and really ramping up into 2024. So keep an eye out for the additional webinars that will be presented by us. We always have a live training every Tuesday by our master trainer, Kathy Inman. It's a great training that is available for everyone to come and just learn about LFI, to learn about OneQR, how to create ideas on where to utilize them in your advertising and in your, your marketing, whether that's products, services, opportunities, there's a way to implement one QR into your business. That's right, Guy. And we're going to encourage you, if you have uh, joined us today, if you're uh, maybe got this webinar shared with you from a friend and you're interested in implementing QR codes, or maybe you've realized you've been using static codes for years and you're ready to make the switch to dynamic, replace all of those old codes and make them evergreen everywhere that you're using them. I'm gonna encourage you, grab your free one QR now, scan uh, the code that we have up or uh, reach out to whoever shared this with you for more information on how to get on and start creating codes and using them everywhere you are out promoting and marketing, especially especially in print, Guy. I mean, again, uh, whirlwind of thoughts here. I'm gonna encourage everybody, come to some of our live events. The Tech Tuesday, Guy, you mentioned, a uh, great opportunity to think about different use cases based on your specific industry um, and, and the, the clients that you serve. So uh, from myself over here at LFI and my partner, Guy, I want to thank you all for joining us for this quick uh, little 
use case on one QR in print. We do have a white paper available and uh, there will be links back to these white papers that include all of the best practices for using one QR in print so that you can get the most out of your print marketing. Thank you so much, everybody. We'll see you on the next one.